ставите лайк, subscribe, предплатите се на Мата и Младенович каналът. А сега ще поддържате към Мата и Младенович каналът и погледнете. Ова е Porsche 992 GT3. Во плава боя, погледнете. Идеме. struggle to find a starting point but let's start at the front like we always do and we'll start at the nose because i kind of still have to get used to two things the nose the the, the weird like nostrils almost like angry bird nostrils at the front with that round nose and the massive swan neck rear wing which we'll get to later oh we've also got this matched key which i wanted to show you that looks really cool right this is shark blue not sure about the color i think it does fit the gt3 very well but the problem is that all of them are in this color so i've seen it like 20 times already um, anyway front nostrils a lot of heat uh, comes out from here uh because there's a radiator down there and i guess you know as long as it's super functional I don't mind, but I, I'm not sure it's very pretty. But anyway, we've got a very, well, it, it doesn't really look like a, a, a regular 911 anymore. We've got this super racy front bumper with this massive gaping hole. That looks absolutely awesome. Well, as you can see, a lot of bugs have died in the making of this video. Well, the Autobahn POV, really. So it's Martijn's fault, not mine. Um, yeah, it's basically a very, big blue fly swatter or mosquito swatter this car uh, we've got this lower part here in in this black plastic which makes it look like a race car which is very cool i think that the splitter is manually adjustable this lower part here i read that somewhere but i can't see how apparently it is um and we've got a intake here or a, or a duct for a radiator in there and there's nothing in there but it is open so that's good uh, we've got black headlights as well with a little blue line in there that is very cool yeah it's it's a cool car it really looks like a race car so the wheels we've got 20 inch wheels at the front 21s at the rear and a beautiful lightweight wheel Although they are heavier than the wheels on the previous generation, the car in general is wider, it's bigger, it's heavier, like there are heavier components on it, um, but still it's only 5 kilos heavier than the previous one. And they've done that by doing some lightweight stuff around the car. Uh, the bonnet, for instance, I'll show you that in a minute. It's got lighter glass, it's got a, a very light exhaust system that saves 10 kilos, so there's a lot of stuff that's heavier and a lot of stuff that's lighter and that's why it's almost the same weight uh we don't have carbon ceramics on this car which i believe is a mistake by someone at porsche in the netherlands that was not supposed to happen and it is a mistake because the brakes are not great they wear out quite quickly if you drive it hard a lot which is driven quite hard uh, so carbon ceramics always do that always 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 better and we've got these center lock wheels of course which are just gorgeous and i want to eat them up uh, we've got goodyear eagle f1 tires. is that the name that's a very long name yeah that's it eagle f1 super sport r quite sticky it has been changed as well to be able to like talk with the front suspension basically so it makes sense the with the new uh with the new multi-link at the front and at the rear well okay let's just address the elephant in the room apart from the fact that this car also doesn't have the optional carbon fiber roof which would be cool um is this wing okay it's here so if you're in a race and uh, you're in the pits and the jacks don't work anymore you can just lift the car up and change aggressive which means that you don't sacrifice as much top speed as you would with a regularly mounted spoiler wing 
So, uh, this car actually generates 50% more downforce than the GT3 of the previous generation. It develops as much downforce as the previous generation GT3 RS. And you can actually adjust this, as you can see, so you can make it even more aggressive. Uh, if you go to like the Nürburgring, and that would give you 50% more downforce than the GT3 RS of the previous generation. So there's a lot of downforce, let's just uh, say it as it is. I don't know about the wing, I think it is a GT3 RS wing, right? I think it's a lot of aggressive race car aero for a GT3. I mean, what are they going to do with the GT3 RS? Is that just going to have like a wing that's this hot? 70 Nm torque, which is 10 up for both in comparison to the previous GT3. So, I think this basically is the perfect setup. So, you don't want anything more, you don't want to extract more from this crazy high revving engine. Pozadi Nova Porsche 992 GT3 se nogi pozadi motorat, a sakam da vi kažem da ga je napet bagažnik, odpogledajte se ga. Ewe główna teka kulicz, pole bole. Samo szczyta, że to nie ma kuwan karbon, jak na ołom bordzini. Ovo biše Porsche 992, kjeto ti vas sveti subscribe, like, pretplatite se na matu i modernoj kanal, podržite ga i zagledam.